And take number 4,500. No. Take number 415. Take number 415. What's up, y'all? Click. Yeah. Nelly Vanilli, pop out of your city. I hit up Chris, she coming and get me. Got hitters don't miss, don't end up like Ricky. We got a loud, you know that it's sticky. Nelly Vanilli, pop out of your city. I hit up Chris, she coming and get me. Got hitters don't miss, don't end up like Ricky. We got a loud, you know that it's sticky. Pop out of my city. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Kringle. Welcome, let's mingle, and welcome to my channel. Now, if you stumbled across this video, thank you for tuning in. This is my first YouTube video ever. And from the title, as you can see, this will be a get to know me Q&A. So I'm a little nervous and a little excited at the same time, so please bear with me. Now, I went on my social media and I went on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat and asked a Q&A. I asked them, I told them I was doing a get to know me for my YouTube and to ask me some questions. So I took 10 questions, I took like the 10 best questions to me. And yeah, I'm gonna answer it now so you guys can get a little feel for me and you know, you know, get to know me a little better. I don't wanna start dropping content and you guys don't even know who I am, right? Duh. So I figured this would be a best way to just start the channel and get it going. All right, so yeah, here's the first question. Um, well, let me get to the questions. Here's the first question. Um,. Number one, what does a normal day look like in your world? Um, good question. What does a normal day look like in my world? Well, since the pandemic, I haven't been working, so I guess a normal day look like a normal day in my world. I be chilling. I be in a crib when I want. I be outside when I want. I travel when I want. Um, there's no limitations for what I do right now because I have no, I don't have a job. Like the pandemic, well, let me not say that. The pandemic, the, the, the pandemic, the pandemic messed everything up. So I don't have a job. I'm not working and it's okay. I'm not even mad right now. You know, I'm making it do what it do. Um, what else? So yeah. A normal day in my world, I be chilling. Like, I don't have much obligations to fulfill or requirements to do. So I really go with the flow. I do as I please on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, are you a pet lover? Um, I am. I am. I love pets. I actually have one. Come in, Nala. Jump. Oh. Look at my baby. Say hi, mamas. Hi, my pretty baby. Yeah, this is Nala. Oops, sorry, mamas. This is Nala. I don't want her on me too much because she sheds a lot. And I haven't brushed her in a couple days. So I know she's going to be shedding. So I'm going to hold her like this. But this is my baby. Nala. Nala, say hi to, say hi to our, our, our um, subscribers. You see her eyes? Maybe you can't see it right now. But they're like green. Let's get into it. Can't really get into it. But yeah, it's my baby. Her name is Nala Nova. Um, yeah, I love her. And I love other pets as well. But yeah, this is my baby. She don't listen. She's my little baby that don't listen, right? Right? But yeah, it's my baby. Go ahead. But um, yeah, I love pets. I do. As I got older... Um, as I've gotten older, I feel like I grew more of a love for pets because when I was younger, I didn't like pets. Like, I was scared of dogs. I'm allergic to cats. What else is there? <laughs> like, dogs, cats. Um, yeah, I wasn't really much of a pet person. I never really liked to go to the zoo. I don't like bugs. So, yeah. Now I am. I love them. I love them. I will go to the aquarium and have a good old time. I'll go to the zoo and enjoy it. But yeah, I love pets. Especially my little baby Nala. Next question. Where are you from? So, I am from Harlem. I'm from Harlem, but I currently reside in the Bronx, unfortunately. 
<sighs> I miss Harlem. I mean, I still be out there. I go out there almost every day, but it's not as it's not as convenient, you know, living in the Bronx because all my friends and family is from Harlem. They all live in Harlem. So being up here sometimes it get lonely. It gets lonely. Lonely. I missed a But yeah, it gets lonely sometimes, but you know, sometimes I like being alone as well, so it's not that bad. Cause you know, I get in my moods where I'd rather just be by myself anyway, so it's okay. But yeah, I live in the Bronx. Um, longest relationship. My longest relationship has to be about four or five years. Let me count. Yeah, so my longest relationship is five years. Just to keep that brief. Um, let's see. Next question. What made you decide to start vlogging? Um, that's a good question. But to be honest, I don't know. It was just, I guess, my social media kind of. Like, back in the day, I think maybe 2014, 2016, it started in 2014, so like 2014 to like 2016, this is like where, this was like my Snapchat ever, like I was heavy on Snapchat. I was heavy on it, and my friends were like, <clears throat> not even my friends, because on Snapchat I have people that I don't even know from a hole in the wall. So like, on my Snapchat, I used to get like a lot of people saying like, um, commenting on my Snapchat, like good stuff, you know? And I was actually in a relationship, even when I when I was in a relationship at the time, um, I remember I used to post a lot with my significant other. And they used to, I don't know, they used to get a kick out of it, I guess. I, they used to love it because I remember when a holiday came up and I remember this was the year I was kind of struggling, I didn't have it. So I told them like, yo, this year we ain't doing much, I'm not doing much, you know but bear with us, we'll be back soon. And there was like a lot of people that was like, oh my gosh, why, da da da. I was actually, a lot of people saying that I was actually looking forward to viewing your story because I knew y'all was coming with some fire. Like, or they were saying I knew, I was just looking forward to viewing your story. Like I was looking to forward to viewing you and like what you was doing and stuff and I don't know it touched me in a way it's like wow people really like to watch me I guess like I don't know it made me you know feel away so I'm like all right maybe I should start a YouTube but mind you this was 2016 <laughs> it's 2021 hunty like what happened it's been five years and I'm just making my first YouTube video you know but shit happens I guess shit happens and yeah we here now so let's go up let's go up but that's 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 why I started vlogging. I feel like um, that's what made me want to start vlogging. I've been wanting to make a YouTube for like the last four or five years now, as you can, as I just said. And now I don't know. I guess I'm finally doing it, like stepping out the shell. I've always been camera shy though. That's what's that's what's weird. That's a whole other story. I don't want to give you too much right now. I'll make this quick. Next question. Um, where's the questions? Okay. Are you single? Mm -hmm. Um, to make it brief, no, I'm not single. I'm not single. I have a significant other. We're just gonna leave that there for now. Next question. What do you like about being a videographer? Um, I guess what I like is capturing like precious moments. The video you you capture emotion and motion. Like you could capture precious moments that you just can't capture in a photo, you know? You get movement, you get action, you get it's like a video is like a little movie per se, kind of. Like, you know, something to watch. It's, and I like it because I just I guess depending on the subject I'm shooting or the event that I'm shooting, like you can really catch like some moments that just like 
wow, if you didn't catch it in a video, it's just in the memory, right? You can put the memory on the tape. Boom, there we go. That's a better way to put it. I like being a videographer because it's like, it's like, I just love it. I just like catching priceless moments. That's how it is. I mean, I guess. That's, I just like it. I like recording people, seeing people reaction. I like recording myself. I've never been, honestly, I'm very camera shy. I don't know if you could tell here. Maybe, I don't know, who knows. Tell me in the comments if you could tell, like, you know, I'm nervous a little bit, I'm a little jittery. But, um, yeah, I've never been a camera person. I'm, I, I've always been camera shy. I'm not photogenic at all. I hate pictures, like all my friends could tell you. I do not like taking pictures. I take them because I feel like I have to. Cause I don't upload pictures and I remember it used to be a thing where people used to think I was a catfish which is which is weird like on Facebook a few people on Facebook like a few females used to think I was a catfish because I didn't post pictures and I don't know I'm just not photogenic I don't like pictures at all I'd rather take a video so yeah once I bought the camera for myself to start this YouTube thing I was like I might as well just run it up I might as well run it up and you know start recording people, events, you know, become a videographer. So I like that shit. Next question. Um, let's see. Where did you get the name Kringle from? <laughs> um, I knew this question was coming. I knew a lot of people, and a lot of people did ask me this question as well. Because it's like, Kringle, the fuck? You don't call yourself Kringle. But honestly, Chris Kringle been my name on Facebook, on all my social media handles, social media platforms for like, shit, since I started Facebook. Facebook was like the first thing, and this was probably back in 2011, and I started calling myself Chris Kringle since 2011. So it's been 10 years, since it's 2021. It's been 10 years now since I had this name, and nobody really know where I got it from. So let's explain. Um, I got the name Chris Kringle from because you know back in the days when you start up a social media and you're looking for a username like it's just always something that rhymes kind of like Ash Cash or like something like back then people was like taking their name and adding something to it like just they added something to their name or whatever and that's what I did pretty much um I remember back in the days, I don't know if it was a Trey song. I don't know if Trey song said it first, but I feel like he did because this, this other song didn't come out until a few years later. And I'm pretty sure I got it from Trey songs, but I don't know the song at the moment. But um, I could reference another song. So you know the song Monster, Jay-Z, um, Kanye, Nicki Minaj, Rick Ross, all that. So Kanye had a line that says, well, I'm pretty sure y'all heard the line, my presence is a present, right? Now, that's how I feel. I feel like my presence is a present. And who bring presents? <laughs> who bring presents? Drop it in the comment. Drop it in the comment section. Let me know. Who is Kris Kringle? Who bring presents? Yeah, all that. Tell me who, who you think. I'll wait. Now, who is Chris Kringle? Santa. Yeah, Santa Claus, right? Santa brings gifts, right? My presence is a present. I feel like who brings gifts? Santa Claus brings gifts. So yeah, that's how I got my name in a in a short little brief message note, whatever you want to call it. To sum it up, yeah, that's how I got my name. It was a lyric that said, "My presence is a present." And I feel like my presence is a present. Who bring presents? Chris Kringle. I just took it and ran with it. Like, I took it and ran with it, and we here now. I'm Chris Kringle. Mingle with Kringle. Let's get it. All right, next question. What do you like to do for fun? I like to travel. Mm -hmm. I don't know that one. Just so you know, I can help if you ever mistake your phone. Try asking me to call your phone. Alexa, nobody told me. Sorry. What I like to do. And what I like to do for fun. Um, I like to travel. I like to try new things. I like to visit new places. 
Um, I like to chill. I like to binge watch. I like to binge watch um, sh different shows on Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, when I'm in the house, or even YouTube. I like to watch YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'm re I really be chilling. I be I'm an OD chill vibe. I don't do too much. I don't like confrontations, so I'm I'm not drama. I'm not feeling drama. I really be chilling. That's what I do for fun. I like to travel, hang out with my friends, visit new places, uh, try different food, try different things. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next question. Oh, that was the last question. Yep. So, 10 questions answered. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Especially if you came through and you watched this whole video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot more coming. Um, nothing like this. This is the last Q&A. It probably was a little boring. Who knows? I don't know. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to wrap it up here. Um... 10 questions, get to know me. Stay tuned for the next video. If you like this video, please share it. Um, I know it's my first video, but it's more content coming. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification, and please tell a friend to tell a friend. We going up. Let's build it up, let's build it up. No, let's grow our family. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah.